Hi, this is Joe Stoll. I hope your day is going well, and I hope these words of daily strength will be a very special help to you. Let's talk about word power from Psalm 119, 107, where the psalmist writes, I have suffered much. Preserve my life, O Lord, according to your word. Well, wow, nice try, Joe. It was a beautiful day, except for the fact that after a sizzling front nine, my golf game had tanked big time. I have to say I felt embarrassed in front of the two other guys I was playing with and really disappointed in myself. Why I torture myself with golf and call it a game, I'll never know. Yeah, but like a sports masochist, I keep going back for more pain. Well, as I was stuffing my clubs into the back of my car, trying to put on a good face and appear sanctified, I was struck with the fact that I had just spent the afternoon with two guys who have problems that make my lame golf game look like a cakewalk. Both of them have deep trouble on the home front. You know, the kind of trouble that hurts the worst. Robert's wife has been running him through the ringer of an excruciating divorce. It is something that he does not want and has tried for two agonizing years to turn around. She wants nothing to do with him or reconciliation. My other golf buddy, <laughs> the one who beat me mercilessly on the back nine, has been living for years with a situation at home that none of us would ever dream of enduring. His wife struggles with severe emotional imbalance, and though at one time she was fully sold out to Christ, she now wants nothing to do with Jesus or her husband. She still lives at home, so you can imagine what that means. Walking in the house after a tough day of work, seeing a whole new set of challenges on the home front. He goes to church alone. He sleeps alone. As I closed the back of my Tahoe, I noticed that they were talking to each other in upbeat tones. What caught my attention was that they were talking about passages of Scripture, passages they had shared with each other the week before. As they quoted portions of these passages to each other, the power of the content was compelling. They reminded each other of Psalm 16, 8 through 9, which says, I have set the Lord always before me. Because he is at my right hand, I will not be shaken. Therefore, my heart is glad and my tongue rejoices. My body also will rest secure. And then Psalm 119, 71. It was good for me to be afflicted so that I might learn your decrees. Wow. It was clear to see that they were lifting each other up with the power of God's word prove the point. In times of trouble, the Word of God is a source of comfort that infuses unusual strength into situations that put wordless people into the dumpster. You know, I have to admit, I have never thought of using God's Word to prop me up when my golf game goes south, but I was reminded afresh that there is an unusual power in the Word of God to give us an edge in the time of trouble. So. When life hits the wall, go to the Word. And don't isolate yourself. Find someone else in trouble and be Bible buddies. God loves you. And God gives us His Word to take you all the way through.